Hi there. So today we're going to be walking through how to install Python 3 on a macOS. So the first thing that we're going to need to download is obviously Python 3. So the link will be in the description, but if you just come to python.org slash downloads, you'll see that there'll be a button here that says download Python 3. Whatever. Uh, it might be a little bit higher than this by the time that you get there, but as long as it's 3. something, you're in the clear. So just go ahead and download that. That'll pop up in your downloads when it's done downloading. And we just go ahead and click it. It should be a package file. And just basically go through the steps here. So we just go ahead and hit continue. Continue, continue, and agree. And then we can go ahead and hit install. Okay, so at this point we can go ahead and we can just hit close on here. There'll be a thing that pops up that says move the trash and we can just go ahead and do that. Uh, you can just feel free to close this window. Uh, we don't need a Safari window. Actually, we'll just minimize that for a second here. And so from here, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open up a terminal. So if you currently already have a terminal open, you will need to close it and you'll need to reopen it. So the easiest way to get to a terminal is just to open Spotlight Search. So you can either click the little search icon in the top here, or you can go ahead and you can hit the Windows key plus space. And then you're just going to want to start typing in terminal and it'll pop up here. And from here, what we can do is we can go ahead and type in Python 3 and then hit enter. And we'll get a thing that says Python 3.10 or whatever Python version number you just downloaded from there. If you get a message saying that the build that you need to download build tools, um, more likely than not, you probably already had a terminal window open. So just make sure you come down to the bottom here, right click and hit quit, and then try it again and see if that works. If that doesn't work, then you need to reinstall Python because it means that Python didn't install correctly. Now from here, what we're gonna go ahead and do is you can press control or command and then plus Z and that'll suspend the process. And from here, uh, what we need to test check as well is that pip installed so pip is the package manager for python 3 and pip is used to install a ton of packages and so the way that we check if it's installed is we can type in pip 3 and then just hit enter and if that pops up with a bunch of commands then it means that we have installed it correctly so if you see in any guys they might say something like uh pip install numpy for example you're just going to want to make sure that you have oh, whoops you're just going to want to make sure that when you're actually typing that command out you want to make sure that you add a three to the end of where it says pip there um, Python comes pre-packaged with macOS, so you just want to make sure that you actually type in pip3 to make sure that it specifies that you're using the right version of Python to install it to. Otherwise, it'll use the one that's pre-installed on your system, and that can cause some issues. And the next step is optional, but I would highly recommend installing um, some sort of code editor such as Visual Studio Code. So I've gone ahead and I've downloaded it. The link will be in the description for downloading Visual Studio Code. If you just come down here, just go ahead and click on the download for Mac. You'll see it's right here. If we go ahead into the downloads and we click it, It'll just go through and verify. It'll also give you a warning and say that this file was downloaded from the internet, just like that. If we go ahead and hit open now. Okay, so some of the footage of the first time opening was a little bit weird, but uh, basically if you just come through and with your Visual Studio code, um, once you've gone through and downloaded it, run it. Basically what you're gonna be looking for is there's a little set of boxes on the left-hand side here. So you're just gonna wanna go ahead and click that to go to the extensions. And from there, if you just type in Python, There'll be a couple of different options. So I highly recommend installing this first one, which is by Microsoft itself. You'll see there's a blue check mark that says Microsoft. You can just go ahead and install that, and that'll be really good for beginners. If you're a little bit more advanced, I would highly recommend installing the Python extension pack. This just includes some really handy tools in here. The most important one, as far as I'm concerned, is auto doc string. This will automatically do things like generate doc strings based on the arguments of your classes and stuff like that. If none of that makes any sense, don't worry about it. Just install the regular Python version if you're a beginner. And if you're a little bit more advanced user, go ahead and install this Python extension pack. It comes with some good stuff. So um, yeah, once you've gone ahead and did that, you can verify everything is working by just coming into a folder, opening up a new file, let's call it whatever you want. So I'll call it test.py. And in here, whenever I'm going through and trying to type anything out, you'll see in the bottom, it'll say Python and it'll say whichever Python version I'm running. And I can just go ahead and I can just say, uh, start typing in some code to so something like from math import radians as a good example of this. Just some sort of valid Python code. And if you see that there's all the stuff is being highlighted and all the different words are showing up and everything like that, then it means that everything has been set up correctly and you are good to go. So thank you for watching and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.